Thank goodness you chicken nuggets are here. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to Grow TV. Oh man, oh man, I'm so happy to see y'all. I tell you what, I don't think I've ever been more afraid in my life. For those of you who don't remember from last time, I'm in the city of Los Angeles in California. Now, when I first got here, I really loved it. City lights, good food, and the constant sound of cars honking. It's wonderful, but today I feel a little bit different about it. Because I was walking down the street, minding my own business, and a man dressed as Spider-Man jumped on top of me and put me in a headlock. Now remember, this wasn't the Spider-Man. This was just some guy in a costume. And he kept on shaking me around like a rag doll saying, Take that, goblin! I don't even know what he's talking about. When well, I finally shook him off, I went to go grab some food and, well, it wasn't good. I walked up to this restaurant and they were out of chicken nuggets. Then I asked for a corn dog, but then they just handed me a bowl of corn shaped like a hot dog. Like a little corn dog. And if that wasn't enough, next I came face to face with my fear. No, like literally, I ran into a wall with my face and on the wall they spray painted fear on it. Apparently that's a big thing here, like spray painting things. They call it graffiti. It's everywhere, on the buildings, the light poles, the bathrooms, even like on trains like I've seen in the movies. But it makes me wonder, why did someone spray paint the word fear? And why did it scare me? Like for instance, if I see the word boo, I get scared. Ah! Whoa, what happened? Oh. Hey Jada, hi. Sorry, I was just a little, uh, startled is all. Well, a lot, but most recently I was telling the kids how I ran into a wall. Had the word fear spray painted across it. And I don't know, it just got me scared. Being in a new city, not knowing what it all means. Does that make sense? For sure. And don't worry. Fear is a completely normal feeling. Everyone I have ever met has felt scared or fearful in at least one point in her life. Really? Of course! I mean, if the mother of Jesus herself can be scared, I think we're all allowed our moments of fearfulness. Wait, what are you talking about? Mary was afraid in the Bible? She sure was. I was just reading about it this morning in Luke chapter 1. What happened? Well, you remember the angel that visited Zechariah last week? For sure. Gabriel, right? Yep, you got it. Well, Gabriel was sent to visit Mary one night and shared a message with her. Oh, is this the Jesus message? Ah, uh, you'll have to wait and see. Oh, I know it is. Now, Mary was going to be married to a man named Joseph, but she wasn't ready for a baby yet. Then the angel Gabriel appeared and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Yeah, that's good news. Yes, but Mary didn't take it so well at first. Mary was afraid. Really? Wow. I mean, I guess seeing an angel would be kind of scary at first. Oh, for sure, but the angel told her to not be afraid. She was told that God was very pleased with her, and because of that, she was going to have a baby, and she was going to name him... Jesus! Her baby's name will be Jesus! <laughs> yeah, exactly. But Mary still was a bit confused because she wasn't ready for a baby and didn't know it would be possible. But Gabriel explained that God was going to perform a miracle through Mary, and there was nothing to be afraid of. Nothing to be afraid of? Yeah, except like her husband's reaction, her reputation in her community, and having to carry a human baby inside of her for nine months. Not to mention the weight of being the mother of the Son of God. True, there was a lot changing in Mary's life, but Gabriel made it very clear that this was God's plan, and Mary understood that. And that's it. So even though the rest of her life had just changed, and even now she'll be facing more troubles in her life, she's not scared. Oh, I'm sure she was at first, because yes, Mary's life is no longer the same, and she'll have to go through some difficult stuff. But here's good news. Which is? Jesus is the good news. You see, no matter how much stress, difficult times, or scary situations life may throw our way, it all becomes a lot easier to deal with when Jesus is involved. How's that work? Mary hadn't even met Jesus yet. True, but she got from the angel's message that God's son will be the savior that the world had been waiting for, and we know this now. I mean, Jesus has conquered death. He showed us that nothing in this world can defeat him. And if we choose to follow Jesus, then that means there's nothing to be afraid of too. God will call us to do some big things in this life, but having Jesus on our side makes it so we don't have to be afraid. 
Okay, so Mary was no longer afraid because she knew who Jesus and what he's going to be. And I already know who Jesus is. Wow, you're totally right. I'm not afraid anymore. And I don't care who knows. You hear that, Los Angeles? My name is Carl, and I'm not afraid anymore. Ah! Is that a piece of paper? Who are you, sir? Well, hey there, kids. Wasn't it cool to hear about Mary's bravery when she found out she was going to have Jesus? I loved it. That's why today's big idea is such a great reminder. Jesus calms our fears. So let's say it out loud on the count of three, okay? One, two, three. Jesus calms our fears. Great job, everyone. That's it for this week, but we will see you next time on Grow TV. Bye. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Grow